All right, hi, Paul Sackis. <laughs> well, I'm very close to Four Winters, a film by Julia Mintz, a story of Jewish partisan. How do I, am I saying that right? No, partisans. Partisans, that's why I have a lot of people here to help me. Resistance and bravery in World War II. And look at all those awards, and it should have a million of them, and it should get an Oscar. But the important thing is the story behind this of what we're going to talk about. I'm actually uh, shaking as a result of watching the movie because there was a terrible, terrible time in humanity, within humanity, and you've captured it, Julia. Tell us a little bit about the film, please. Hmm. Well, we started this film a long time ago. It's uh, been a passion project since it started, and we have interviewed people all over the world for the film. We feature eight partisans in the film, and the stories are interwoven to tell the larger picture of what was possible and how people banded together in the forests of Eastern Europe. Actually, there were over 25,000 people in the regions of the Ukraine, Belarus, Lithuania, Poland, um, alone. Of course, there are partisans everywhere else, but in our film, you can see on the map, this is sort of the general region of where our partisans were. And you can see in the poster, that's Faye Schulman in the leopard coat. Her work and photographs survived the war. She developed the photos in the forests and uh, hid them when she went on missions and came back and they've survived the war. And Ava is here with us. She also was in the underground and she's wearing the leopard sweater today to honor Faye. And we have some members of our team and some new friends of the project who have come with us today to see this film. Ava, could you tell us, because I believe this is a very personal story for you, and why is that so? My brother John was a partisan who was killed on the fourth winter. He was 21 years old and he was trying to join Tito's forces in Yugoslavia, but he never quite got there. He was killed by the Nazis. And uh, I was so fortunate when I met Julia and realized that she was making a monument to the martyrs, to the partisans, and uh, allowed me an opportunity, the greatest and most intimate opportunity, almost 70 years later, to pay tribute to my brother John. I think you used the right word after seeing the movie, the monument. This movie's a monument. Um, uh, you're, uh, you're Spielberg, and uh, Spielberg, has Spielberg seen this movie? I'm just asking right here, right now. Did he see it? I hope so, I hope so. The, no, he needs to see this, the because story he'd be proud, proud, very proud of you. I say that right here, right now. Thank you. Thank you. The Story Partners Foundation, his new foundation actually helped us transform the entire soundtrack and create the music for the film through a grant um, over about during the COVID winter. Um, we went back in thanks to their foundation. So I'm not sure if uh -huh. you've seen it. Stephen, if uh, you're listening, thank you. Okay, we're going we're gonna to find it. We're going we to get that happen. Let me ask you, uh, I want to right here, right now, put in uh, uh, the, do uh, you have a teaser, a uh, sizzle reel? Do you have uh, uh, yeah, could yeah, you, uh, uh, a, could trailer. you set that up and let us know? Because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to edit right in, and then I'm going to ask everybody one question here. Okay, um, actually, Zen's here as our co-producer could probably answer that even better in okay. terms of how to get to the trailer. Well, I either get to the trailer or I'm going to edit it right into this uh, oh. piece. Okay. This is we, 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 we do the Facebook here right now, and then we make a show. All right, we put opening and closing, and then we really broadcast it. It's okay, a great. TV network. Okay, uh, well, Zen. tell us how to get to the... To the uh, you can uh, get to it on YouTube or our website, fourwintersfilm.com, and check out our trailer there, or look it up on YouTube, search for Four Winters Trailer, and it'll come up. Okay, and what is seeing the Four Winters And you can also follow trailer? us on social media. Our handle is Four Winters WW2. So if we go to the trailer, what are we gonna see right now? 
You're going to you see... You went back to Zen, or you got it? Uh, what are you going to see? You're going to see... Ben, tell us what you're going to see when you see the trailer. You're going to see a two-minute trailer for this documentary. Which includes Robin. what? I mean, this was a very, very um, involved uh, <clears throat> piece of work. How long was the movie? Uh, it's about 96 minutes. -ish. Okay. If I remember correctly, the trailer sort of just introduced the concept of partisan rebellion. Okay. Uh, without going into too much detail about the individual stories. Uh-huh. But there's not a bad frame in this movie. All right, let's go to the trailer. They are very hunting Jews to capture us and kill us. They killed my child and my parents. I was 17 years. We were Jewish boys and girls fighting against the Nazis. I managed to escape with my comrade into the woods. We were part of a network of sabotage shacks. There were groups living in hundreds of miles of wild territory. The pillow was the rifle, the walls were the trees, and the sky was the roof. I have to behave not as a woman. I have to behave as a soldier. When your life is depending on it, you learn everything quickly. Derail a train. It's beautiful to see it, to be part of it. The braveness, the courage, it grows from you, yes? We wanted to see Hitler with the Nazis defeated and stay alive. Four years in the woods, that's four winters. Okay, I want to ask one last question, and this is personal for each one of you. What is, uh, and especially after seeing the trailer and being involved with this project, what does peace mean to you? And if you could say your name, please. What does peace mean to me? My name is Zen. Peace to me means understanding between people. Um, if we can talk to each other and understand each other, I think peace will follow. Okay, thank you. So, Mar Marilyn? Marilyn? Marilyn did it fast, yeah. one of the executive producers on our film. Couldn't have made it without her. She's been with me since day one. Peace means the ability to see your neighbor as yourself mm -hmm. and treat them the way we want to be treated. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you both. And your name is? My name is Alexa Brosina. Um, I think peace is not something that is achieved by default. It's something that you have to really um, fight for <laughs> in a way kind of ironic that you have to fight for peace but this movie really shows how the partisans were um, so bravely involved in the World War II and how they helped to unite the world. <laughs> uh -huh, that's beautifully stated, beautifully stated. And for yourself sir? My name is Sho. I think that uh, I think peace is, peace requires a lot of thought and um, understanding, and it's not simply done. And I think that it requires a lot of uh, cooperation and hard work, and it's, to connect that to Four Winters, I think during that time, it was, a, I mean, it was clearly a dark time. And even now, we're still going through troubles, trying to understand one another, and I think that, I mean, it's rather difficult, but I think that it's, we can get as close to it as possible over time. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sir? Uh, I'd say peace is sort of a way of mind or a state of existing, which is the absence of strife. Mm -hmm. So sort of um, a way of listening, relating to others, and, you know, being peaceful. Not uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Julia, could you, and then let's and do respect to Ava, let her say her thoughts at the end. I love what everybody said. I think that, I think it's, it's all the things that everybody said here. It's, I loved 
especially the idea that it starts with a state of mind, and then it's all the things that everybody just expressed. I mean, we, it's a choice. It's an individual choice, and then from that choice, I think we have to be active, like you were saying, you know, we really have to be activated to pursue that choice and do what we can in pursuit of the life that encompasses peace. All about life, nice life, kind life, giving life, Eva, and for you? Peace is not the opposite of war. Peace is what we have achieved or hope to achieve as we became a civilized community, humanity. Peace is what we aim for, what we yearn for, what we have to build towards, because mankind deserves that monument. Okay. So peace is not the opposite of war. Okay, well, congratulations to you all, a film by Julia Mintz for Winters. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Mm -hmm.